everybody here on YouTube and welcome to another budget deck on MTGA. Um, this is part of a series. We're making single colored budget decks for every color. Um, there's a, a blue one that is up and I can link that on the description if you're interested. It's like a mono blue tempo flyers deck. And this is the mono white version that gets crafted with basically all cards that you should already have in your collection because they come in the pre-con decks. So just to talk about this deck a little bit. The only card that you really need to craft here is the three History of Benalia, which I think are really good value to craft because these get played in standard a lot. So it's a card that you're going to want anyway. Um, then aside from that, it has three Leon and War Leaders, which all come in the pre-con decks, a Mentor of the Meek, a Resplendent Angel, and a Benelish Marshal, which all come in the pre-con decks. And um, a bunch of these comments will also be in there. Then for stuff that you do need to craft, you do need the four Bauntless Gutty Guards and the four Dento Vanguards. I think these are crucial to the deck because their protection against the wrath. And then you have a little bit of some combos. You have some healer hawks and moment of triumphs, which gain life for the Johnny's pride mate. And then you have net of grace, uh, which is a combo with history banalia because it's a knight. This is also a knight for history banalia, which is nice. The dauntless bodyguard is, um, and then you're just playing 22 lands. You can play a memorial to glory, but I, I played a league with it and I was not impressed. So we're going to run this in a constructed event. Hola, hey Crush, how are you? Welcome on in. All right, so we're gonna take this mono. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna have a link and also the MTGA deck in the description if you wanna play this deck, so you can just snipe it up. You said, I too like Gird over a moment, but not when we're also playing Pride Mate. Yeah, I mean, I think playing the Pride Mate is worth it. Um, there's a chance. We played one league before recording this video because uh, we were just tuning this deck a little bit. And there's a chance that maybe Pride Mate is not the way we want to go. But I think it is pretty good if you ever curve like... Because I want the stalwart so that I can... Oof, we have the mulligan in this hand. This hand's flooded and we also don't have any of our critters. Okay, so if we scry a land to the top, this hand's okay. There you go. I find it strange that you haven't encountered a lot of merfolk. Muff, I've played against a lot of merfolk. I, I have encountered that deck quite a bit. So I think we're going to kick it off with a Knight of Grace instead of the Abdantos. Mm. Yeah. Though if they do have a removal spell, Abdanto is much better blocking the Goblin Banneret. This is so nice that we just draw another land for History of Benalia, though. They don't even have attacks. I find it strange that you haven't... Oh, no, yeah, I already saw that. Okay, so we don't get attacks here, which is fine. But we can't play another Knight of Grace, which now double blocks these, like, pretty nicely. And now if we draw a land, we can disturb and start going to town. We get pretty blown out here if they have a trick, so I'm actually just gonna be a chicken and not block. It's like really bad if they have a shock, we just get blown out. Or like a sure strike or something. This is just gonna get to attack into this and... Yeah, no, I know, that's why I just, uh, yeah, so I, I, I don't really, I feel super bad blocking there. It just feels like they must have something. I think I'm gonna attack with one of Knight of Grace because I wanna run out there like trick if they have one. My dog started barking in panic because I thought I was gonna mess up the auto for recording. Oh, Sliver! That's so sweet. My opponent could be bad. That's true. I'm gonna play assuming that my opponent's not bad, though. Well, that's a pretty good one. That can mentor onto this. This can mentor onto that. We're gonna have trouble drawing this, beating this draw if we don't draw lands though. Um, yeah, that resolves. So, we definitely killed Tajik, and then I guess we can block there and take f 
No, that just takes more damage because we don't actually get to kill it. So we just take six. Feels super bad. Oh man, they have a pump spell? No, they have to take heart. Ugh. Well, they had them all. Yeah, and we didn't draw land. We cannot- now this is gonna mentor onto this, this mentors onto this. We actually are pretty dead, I do not think we can come back here. They did play like they had something on previous turn, and we, we had to make that block though. <laughs> Our basic plays too much over budget, maybe I should play some of those. That's funny. So we do had a great article a while ago about changing your playstyle against stronger opponents uh, titled How to Smell Blood and Level Up Your Game. That's a good title, actually. Well, look, I'm not going to assume that my that my opponent's a chump. Like, I'm going to make some blocks there that make sense. Like, I don't think they're just suiciding their Boros Challenger into nothing, but we're also in a spot where we're so far behind. So this mentors onto this, this mentors onto that, that mentors onto that. We, we can't beat this girl, let's just move on with our lives. Damage silver crater huff, oh yeah, that was, we got just ranched. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it was, like, play choices that we lost that game. Like, a lot of times, one of the, like, some of the best advice I've ever heard is, like, when you lose a game, you have to, like, go back to, like, where you you think you lost the game. So, like, do you think you lost the game because of a decision? Because sometimes you're, like, you, you lose in the last turn, but it was, like, a decision that happened turns prior that made you lose. So it's, like, did you lose because of the prior decisions? Did you lose, like, a lot of turns ago? Did you lose because you should have mulliganed the hand? I guess we'll keep this. The double moment of triumph is pretty bad. That's a not a bad draw. Oh, drawing Pride would be sweet. Those Sunhound Stalwart blocks a lot of this. No! Oh my gosh, no, why? We're getting so crushed. This link's not going very well. You gain life at least. Feels bad, man. Well, this thing can block those things to boot. Call Harpooner's busted. That guy's really good. <sighs> no blocks. We, we just have to try to get them next turn. We'll see if we can. Moment of triumph on the Stunhound Stalwart to take down the Steel Leaf Champion is, I think, one of the ways we come come back in this game. And I said GG's. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that puts a counter on that punk. I don't know why they GG'd me. That, that's a weird GG, but sure, they can do whatever they want. I think we, uh... Yeah, I think that might have meant like that they liked our play or something. It's a little confusing. So we have to uh, leave a moment of triumph here and exile the pelt collector. Oof. Uh, 
I don't think we can beat a Vivian. <laughs> we definitely could have beat Galta. All right, so I guess we gotta attack Vivian and hope to put them off of the mana to actually cast Galta. Wow, I feel super bad. This is the first time you see me done arena? Oh, that the, the overlay is awesome, isn't it, Sliver? So here we have Vivian take three. We eat the Thorn Lieutenant, and they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they can't quite cast that. Which is good. So we take this down. I like new place, different for YouTube. Just, yeah, Winter! Yeah, I think there's a couple of videos that have already come out from here. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? Alright, so Vivian could kill our bird now if they want. How are you doing, by the way, Wisner? It's good to see you. Sometimes you just like you killed my biggest creature effortlessly. I saw for Luxon and Smiter Ranker plus three turns, even though you have the answer funny. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Isn't it better to kill the enchantment? Uh, I thought that was most likely that they're gonna tick up. Oh my gosh. Can they Galta 8, 9, 10? They're so close. So can't even attack Vivian. I mean, I guess we could send a Danto Vanguard at Vivian. And we might as well sh should. And I think we gotta pay. The troll toll. Oh, we're so dead. <laughs> they just got the next room, we can never beat that. You can't stop nature. We certainly can't stop you. Yeah, that's free. And then they just play Galta. Oh boy. I mean, I suppose we could draw Conclave Tribunal next turn, so I should see what we draw. Yeah, we're dead. Galta makes me miss Fling so much. Do, don't we have a fling in the format? Isn't it called Thud? Yeah, Thud is in the format. It's not an instant, but you can certainly do it. Man, we took two losses immediately. All right, let's rattle off some wins. This is embarrassing. This deck did fine last time. We got like four wins or something. I don't expect this to be like a tier one deck, but we should do better than two wins immediate or two losses immediately. Oh yeah, Molly. We might we might be re-recording. <laughs> Are you in the tourney for this weekend? Which tourney, Wisner? Uh, this hand looks pretty good. No, seal away. Okay, people keep insisting to put seal away. Seal away in this deck is really bad. Hey, Kevin. Thank you for the first time sub. Welcome to the brood. Sorry that my alerts are dead. Sorry, sorry. Um, but we will make up for it with lots of snakes in the chat. Hey, I appreciate the first time sub. Yeah. What's this? The, what's the See Me the Song Your People? That's our new... It's our budget alert. Yeah, reactive cards are bad in aggro decks. You just can't put a card that expects your opponent to attack with a creature to remove their creature. Like, you want pump spells. Like, it's the same concept and limited as, like, you cannot put a card that says... Three mana instant kill target tapped creature that opponent controls in your aggro deck. Like, it just doesn't work. Um. Ha, <laughs> penguin! <laughs> that, that I like, though. Oh, yeah, Creed. Uh, the list is budget white. Here you go. All right, we're playing against Merfolk again.
So next turn we get to go two one drops. I don't mind that. Probably protected this bodyguard. I don't think I even really want to. I guess I should swing. We'll see if we end up having to sack this bodyguard because the deeper the lead is actually really good. And if I think they trade the Kumena speaker, I think that's fine. Okay, they chose not to. Cowards. Let's keep going. History of Vanilla is gonna help. These things are knights. Yo, Neckercube, how are you? Welcome on in. Okay, cool, they didn't do anything. That is great news. Um, so I think this turn we attack with... What do they have at instant speed here? They could have the put counters on your Merfolk card. Like, I think... Oh, they could have the... There's like a three mana merfolk that gives another creature a plus three plus three. We would just get so blown out if they have that. So actually, I don't think we attack with our Dauntless Bodyguard. Or maybe we attack with a Dauntless Bodyguard that is protected. Like this one. I don't remember the name of that card. Oh, I- sorry, it- that's right, that's right, it's not plus three, it's hexproof. I'm forgetting what it does. Okay, anyway, I'm sending in one Dauntless Bodyguard. They were just down to take it all? That's cool. The face when you lose the game because you forgot to activate your enchanted surveillance! Oh, I'm so sorry, that sucks. That is a good way to tighten up though. Like you make some goofs like that and then you're just like, never again. Not today, Satan. Yeah, Swift Warden, that's the name of the card. Look, I remember what a lot of these cards do. I just always forget their names. Ever since I don't do that much coverage anymore, it's just like in one ear out the other. Ooh, uh, I like that card. So that is gonna pump the Deep Root Elite. And the Kumina Speaker. We really want to draw land. We don't have attacks here. We could just conclave tribunal something. Or just like play in the Dance of Vanguard and like next turn we're just gonna send in with History of Benali. We're gonna go to town. We just send in with a Healer's Hawk this turn. Or like play up yeah, play a Pride Maid and send just with a Healer's Hawk. And then now we could also, yeah, take action. Now we could still convoke and take the Kumena speaker away or the Deep Root Elite because that thing is kind of annoying. Yeah. Which is the one that has Indestructible, that one? Hello! Mm -hmm. Ooh, are you joining me? That's alone. That is alone. No boys allowed in the stream room. I assume it's probably not allowed, but... Hmm? I assume probably not welcome, but... It's no boys allowed in the stream room. I'm gonna take the Kumena speaker away. So this is a budget beatdown deck. Oh yeah, I saw you I saw you building it. I think it's not too bad. Yeah, yeah. It's obviously not great, but... <laughs> look, look who I found. Hello. Mm. I'm excited to go get dinner. Oh, we already ate before we wow. when I ate dinner. So stupid. Also, what you're saying is so stupid. Did you see this? <laughs> Did you see what's about to happen? They're gonna hit you for three damage. No! I'm about to have a history of Benalia turn. I had four knights in play. Oh. Yeah, I think you'll be okay. That's not the point. I'm so mad. You're winning easily, though. That's not the point! Wow, those knights are thick. 
Yeah, they are. Yeah, it was also Ethiopian last night, for what it's worth. <laughs> yeah, I have not lived a stream, that is true. <laughs> I'm just gonna launch this. Look, chat, all I'm gonna say is there's a correlation between me moving in with Gabby and how often I stream. Was there really? I feel like you were also not streaming that much beforehand. Mm. I feel like, you've, if anything, mm. you've been streaming more now. More? I've only streamed from here once. How often were you streaming before that? Way more often. My Twitter profile said I streamed a couple times a week. Oh, look, they scooped, even though they put our creatures to sleep. Taste. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you the truth? Yes. We didn't go out to eat while you were streaming. <laughs> what if I did that? Oh my god, I was so worried. Oh yeah, that's true, usually I did. Oh wow. Oh, I'm losing badly, by the way. You're one and two currently? Yes. Sick. I want to play one more. Mm. Do you mind? No, do whatever you want. All right. LSV streamed way more when I used to live in Chicago. That's actually kind of true, right? <laughs> it is true. Is that my fault, though? No one's saying it's your fault. We're, they're just putting together some data points. Come, come join me. Help me, help me crush the, the opposition. All right, if you say so. Mm -hmm. I am Sliver Underlord. I was going to announce that tomorrow. What are you announcing? Me and Chapin are doing commentary this weekend. Oh, fun. Of our Eternal Tournament. I am going to keep the sand, I think. God, mm -hmm. I needed a one drop. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say you should mulligan, but then I realized I was thinking of Eternal, not, not Magic. In Eternal, I would snap that <laughs> out. But not getting a seven on the redraw means that yeah, you should keep that hand. Yeah, it's not good. I don't feel good about it. Well, let me play some Moda sound so, or so you can hear the sounds too. Oh, thank you. You don't want to hear the sounds? I can put them away if you want. No, 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 sounds fine. Sounds fine. The sounds are fun. I I feel yeah. we're not listening with sounds. Yeah. This mono red deck is much better than our mono white deck though. Mm, probably. I bet you could uh. Make a mono red deck with Experimental Frenzy that was probably pretty cheap. Would yeah, you... you just need like four Steamkins and four Frenzies. Yeah, they're a bunch That's... of like Gitu Lava Runners and stuff. And this, these Pyromancers and stuff. And, and Wizard Lightnings, yeah. Is this stuff. a wizard? Yeah, what? But... How? What's a vision of wizard? How does he think it shoots? It's a Pyromancer. Mm -hmm. A Pyromancer is a wizard. Mm -hmm. You play D&D, &D, you know this. Mm -hmm. You're doing fine here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're actually these. Like if they try to do a, have another DL3, then you just get to go. Yeah, one that is try. nice. I want them to. I want to get them. Get them! The owner world leader is pretty nice, yeah. Shunk. Get them! Oh wow. my gosh. Alright, whatever. We get to war leader next turn. This thing is huge. Four, yeah. four toughness is huge for this deck. See ya, defender. Have a good one. Yeah, if they can't kill the war leader, you just win. Hey, Ark, how are you? Welcome to the stream. We are doing some uh, brewing. Ooh, the real Ark has shown up. <laughs> this is the real Ark. <laughs> well, this is Arkin. But yeah, the real Ark. Really? I'm gonna have to. I guess I yeah. could. No, no, maybe I don't. Maybe I just... Take six, and then next turn I attack, make no, two. No, you gotta block, actually. You think? The problem is you gain two when you attack back, but then you have no untapped creatures. So you go to eight, and then you conclude tribunal. The lava runner. Yeah, and then you go to four. I think I would block, probably. I guess I'll block the close, lava runner. Yeah. I mean, they obviously have lightning strike. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They didn't have anything? That was Sick. big game. I that also drew Knight of Grace. That's awesome. Uh, now you just win. That attack was kind of asinine into nothing. Well, if they thought they almost bluffed you for two points of damage, and that might have been their best chance of winning. They yeah, gonna that's win. true. I think I tribunal here. Uh, would I don't you think not? I would, nah. Like, if they kill you not a grace and attack you, you go to six. They clearly don't have a way to kill it because they would have killed the war leader next that's, turn. Yeah, that's true. So they're not going to burn you out here. That's and then true. I would save tribunal. What if they play? I don't know, a rekindling phoenix or something or like that. Frenzy is something. I think we might yeah. have to tribunal too. All right. Yeah, they could have Arc Light Phoenix, which would be coming down next turn. Hey, what's up, Wizner? Well, they yeah. just drew that. Yeah. Oh, 
Well, I'm not winning this game. <laughs> there's just no, there's, there's just no chance. Ooh, oh, I like that. That was great. Do you like my deck? What would you change? Oh, your deck looks pretty decent. Um, take action, take action, take action, take action. This thing is thick. Oh shit, yeah. Um. I, I, you're, I might tribunal now just in case, even though I don't think. I just I don't. Like I'm trying to think of what sequence of events we lose to here, and it involves them getting rid of this and then hitting me for this, and then like they can't kill me here. No. I'm just gonna pass. I don't sure. think we need to use the tribunal. Is there a threaten effect? It would be really funny if they killed you with like some kind of threaten. What are the threaten effects in the format? The pirate is in, but that's yeah. too much mana. Or just ignoring your. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they can't kill me here, famous last words. Yeah. Phoenix. Phoenix would be a. a uh... God, see, this is the thing I love about it. It's so. The games are so fast. Yeah, there we go, Carl. Oh, Act of Treason is an M19? Yeah, I guess they could Act of Treason or a thing. Do you want to play another one? Do whatever you want. <laughs> I don't know how hungry you are, but I, I wanted to. I don't want you to get cranky. Or I'm just projecting. <laughs> I don't usually get cranky when I get hungry. <laughs> I'm just projecting. I'm the one that gets cranky. It was me all along. <sighs> yeah, I'm the one that gets angry. <laughs> In a wicked turn of events, it turns out that it was me who was angry all along. <laughs> oh, I do like some mango. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. Yeah, probably. I'm playing 22 lands in this deck. There you Do you go. think that's right? Uh, yeah, it seems about right. I kind of want to keep that because yeah, if I break on it. the history of Benali, I'm gonna feel super bad. Yeah, history is good enough that even if you get a little flooded, you're fine. Why are we always playing against red decks? Stupid. Yeah, Dantinus isn't super wrong. Uh, I, would, I would Vanguard, I think. Really? It hits for oh. more damage and it Well, they also, if they have... It seems like they might have a Shock here. Yeah. So, like, I, I would pay to keep this alive, I think. Yeah, yeah, for sure. See, they have something. They have it. Yeah. I bet on Arena you get shocked a lot here. They definitely have it. They chose not to go for it. We'll see. So far... They yeah, do have I, it. I knew it. I knew it. Didn't I say that in arena that you get shocked all the time there? Maybe they're they feel like they're a red deck and they want to use their mana, so like this is a way to deal me four. Maybe they feel like they want to deal you four and they're not really like looking <laughs> sure. too too much deeper. Fair. <laughs> so the only thing you need to craft this deck on arena is three mythics for history of Benalia, which I think is pretty good. Like I really wanted it to be like most because I think crafting history of Benalia is good value like that yeah. is a card that's just gonna get a lot of play in standard i'm gonna conclude that thing oh, yeah. can you play another history yeah you can yeah so i'll history and then i'll and i can still attack with vanguard actually mm -hmm. this animation is really cool yeah i love it it's so good so i don't know which ones are summoning sick but it doesn't it matter because i'm just attacking with a danto Oh, we got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, now we are crushing them. So this one gets to go off next turn, and this one goes off next turn? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're losing badly. Yeah. Resolves. I don't think Siege King's even going to do the trick here. Nah. They're just going to have to make bad blocks. I think I would just swing and then see what they do. Yeah, I think so. Like, I don't think you need a Tribunal first because I just don't have good blocks here. Sure. Hmm. Cowards. Sure, sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't care about these blocks. Yeah. Pew, pew, pew. I'm just going to play two Nido Grace yeah. for when this goes off. Yeah, I don't even think I would try to be another Siege Gang. Nah, I don't care. Wow, you're all sick here. Yeah, it was. Having all the knights, because the bodyguard is also a knight. It's so good yeah. with history. Oh, that's whatever. Who is it? 
Uh, it's an arena only card. It comes in one of the precon decks. Uh, it's a six oh, mana mentor of the meek. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it is totally Arkin. Uh, let me attack all. Yeah, they're just dead. Five millions. Ah, oh, Shiver is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I, I also think like setting up people to craft history of Benalias and then just play like yeah. a bunch of like duders because you can upgrade this deck into like. Boros Angels, or like the deck that plays War Healer and Militia Bugler. Like, there's a lot of things you can do. Oh yeah, I think History of Benali is not really a wasted uh, craft. Regardless. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I, I, I want people to craft good stuff, but then also have like a deck that they can play. That's like when the deck curves out, this deck is insane. Are there arena only cards? Is arena one of them? If not, why not? Yeah, there are some arena only cards. Um, they, a lot of them are pretty bad. Uh, but some of them just show up every once in a while because it is a rare that people have in their collection. Did you start O2 in this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're running it up. This seems fine. Yeah. It's, it's a little funky. It's not good, but it's No, fun. obviously. But I don't think you can... How can you... Are you first? Uh, yeah. yeah, we are. It tells you on the opening screen if you're first. Kind of would have liked to be second. Maybe, like, draw one drop. What is that? Oh, he is it Gilgit? He did roll one drop. I'm just add down to yeah. vanguarding. This card is so good. Oh yeah. This card is busted. It's probably the second best, no, third best card in the deck. I think history, history and Conclave Tribunal are probably better. Conclave but... Tribunal is quite good. Yeah. Did they say hello to me? I should not be rude. Hello. No, I don't know. I didn't notice. I wanted to draw a land there. I could have gone Hawk and like Vanguard. Yeah, you still can. Oh, I'm sorry. I do have a planes over here. Totally missed it. <laughs> I guess I'll run out the hawk. Actually, no. I want to play around Syncopate. Yeah, so play your So Vanguard. play my Vanguard first. Mm -hmm. War Leader is not top three best cards in this deck, I don't think. Nah, War Leader is fine. This is great. If you draw land, you can play two two drops. If you don't draw land, you're going to be pretty happy. Oh, they just love it. <laughs> Steal four, I guess. You're, you're just not accomplishing very much when you do this. Don't make me for four, Louise. Oh, yeah, they, they, they really got you there. Oh, that was play, nice. Play both your pride mates. <laughs> yeah. They have something. Yeah, maybe, maybe they kill your healer's hawk now, but that's fine. Yeah, they, start, you a one they still for, take six. Yeah, you trade Oh! Okay, um... I'll just pay it life. For both the vanguards, yeah, right? Yeah, you really have to. That's pretty good. Yeah, wow, the pre-combat double vanguard. Or double pride mate. Yeah, I mean, you had to do that, but yeah, that... Okay, that was sick. That was really good. Yeah, you might lose now. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're still at 11, I guess. They still have to deal with these in some way. But if they play, like, a ha Or, like, Enigma Drake, yeah... Can you draw a tribunal here? I need to. <laughs> yeah, Arkin, it was bad. Oof. Yeah, you weren't really getting out of that, though. I think I just played that upgrade and pass. Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty brutal, Zeralith. So you need... Well, Conclave Tribunals, Jack, you're only real out here. Even then, you're probably still pretty I don't dead. think that this deck should be playing a lot more stuff than, like, four Tribunals, though. But I do think you want the four. Bleh. Did everyone get the Masterpiece Planeswalkers or something? Like, only what? the people in the beta. I see. You get one of each. Yeah, and for cool. a very small period of time, it was craftable. Did you craft them? I didn't know that they were only craftable for a small oh. period of time. I got so now you just have one mismatch to fairy for the end of time? Yeah, it feels bad. Am I supposed to try to kill Ral here? Yeah, I would just attack both at Ral. And I don't think you can afford to save your guy either. Yeah, we're really far behind. Crack and Drake got you good. Yeah, I sure did. Please talk her voice lines or something. <laughs> They, they need to fix the fact that like when it takes damage and when it dies, it triggers twice. Oh, yeah. So because it, 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 it always overlaps. just like overlaps and it's weird. Yeah, the Drake didn't attack, but I imagine we're going to get attacked by it pretty soon here. Hey, Maiden. Welcome on in. 
Oh, Zerolith, they're getting browned. That's fine. And I had all those cards that Zerolith just talked about in my sealed deck day one. And the GP, I went four and four. I got browned. I still think it was right to play the Pride Mates there pre combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, for sure. Hey, C13, sorry, my alerts are dead, but let me do a lot of snake hype in chat instead. Uh, Thank you for joining us. Your stream's big enough that you don't need to alert No, anymore. my alerts are actually broken, Luis. Actually uh, broken. Cool. We draw Conclave. We're just dead. Yep. <laughs> I'll let you know that just beat really Unlimited. Sick brags, Molly. Oh yeah, that card's good. I did like this deck. I guess we ran up three wins, three losses. I might try to re record this because I feel like we could do better. We, we got like... Ooh, that was a nice one. We got a bunch of wins last time we ran this deck with a worse version of it, but it was not bad. If we were to do this again, what would we change? Still not sure how good that moment of triumph is, so I do like having like one pump spell or something. The Conclave Tribunal is really good. Moment of triumph is not too bad. Uh, Sun Home Star looks kind of medium to me. Yeah, I it, liked it, it for it, like mentoring on the Hawk, but that's, that's the only it. thing it mentors. Yeah. yeah. What would you do? You, can you think anything at the top of your deck that maybe charge? I don't like putting those cards in my no, deck, though. It's so bad. Uh, let's see. I was looking at a Whitney list earlier. I mean, you can see a lot of them here. There's a chance I want just more one drops. There's a chance I just want like two Leon and Vanguard because those get bigger in multiples and they also help the Ajani's Pride Mate. This deck's playing Legion's Landing. But that's a rare. Yeah, and uh, like Hunted Witness. Maybe it's just Hunted Witnesses. Sky March or Aspirant could be good, too. Yeah. Do you think it's worth it to run the Aspirant just for being a 2-1 versus, like, the Leon and Vanguard who gains life for the Pride Mate? I would run the, the, the Sky Marcher. So I think maybe... Oh, Venerated Loxon. I know it's a rare, but that one's also pretty good. Maybe we try to, we craft the one or something. So let me cut two Stalwarts and add a Aspirant. And then that also puts us at 10 one-drops, which I think is really nice. Yeah, Legion's Landing is really good for this deck, for sure. It also gives you a lot of game versus control. So I think this is the list I would play. Um, if you uh, like this deck, I'm going to have it in the description. The updated version of it is going to be down in the description below. I might try recording it again, because I think we can do better. I think we can get all the wins. Yeah, this. hard not to. What do you mean, hard not to? Oh, well, you said you think you could do better. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. And get out of here, Louise. Hold on. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.